A professional barrel racer who was paralyzed from the waist down is now about to hit the movie screen. It's a story we first introduced you to four and a half years ago. Well, we have an update tonight. Dan Rascone takes you inside the story of Walk, Ride, Rodeo. <laughs> and this was your very first ever Inside the Story, Dan. Yeah, it's pretty amazing even to think about. On April 24th of 2014, we kicked off the Inside Story franchise. My very first story, a young barrel racer who doesn't know the meaning of the word quit. And now her life story is about to be told to millions. There you go. Amberly Snyder has an amazing story to tell that all has to do with the horses she loves and the chair she's been forced to sit in. In fact, her story is so fascinating, it caught the eyes of movie producers who are turning it into a film for millions to see. Yeah, we have a movie coming out about my life. It all started at a very young age. A little girl who was born to barrel race. By 2009, she was a world champion. Oh, I grabbed my wheel to correct my truck. But on January 10, 2010... My truck started rolling at 75 miles an hour. A horrific crash would forever change your life. And hit a fence post on the side of the road across my stomach. Paralyzed from the waist down. Told... Her writing days were over. What am I supposed to do with that kind of news? But this young gal literally got back on the horse. These straps go around my legs. And, and she straps my... in like some kind of NASCAR driver. A seatbelt cut out of a car. I really am strapped to my horse. Amberly would have it no other way. <sighs> oh, absolutely. Suddenly, she has legs again. Hey, this is this is my happiness right here. And she doesn't just go on a leisurely stroll. No, she's back at full speed, barrel racing again. All without using her legs. Instead, she uses sounds to lead her horse. I get to be like everybody else. It was back in April of 2014 when we first introduced you to Amberly and her amazing comeback to riding again. That was before she went pro. Now she's traveling the country, winning championships and cash prizes. And this past summer, she got to be on set for her own Netflix original movie that will be called Walk, Ride, Rodeo. The very first day of therapy, I was asked, what are your goals? And I told them, easy, walk, ride, rodeo. Emily not only helped co-produce and consult in the movie, she was also the stunt double. Everything after the accident is her writing. That was one of my agreements, was when they came to me and said that they wanted to make a movie, I told them that I get to write for myself. When Amberly is not writing, she's motivating audiences, giving them a simple yet powerful message she hopes her movie will also lead. We don't always get to pick what happens to us, but we get to choose what comes after that. Yeah, now Walk, Ride, Rodeo is now in the editing process and expected to be released on Netflix, possibly by March of next year. Amberly says she only knows of one other writer like her in the world, a woman who she says was inspired by her story. To learn more about her story, go to her website, KUTV.com. So we did the story back in 2014, if you can believe it's been that yeah. long. But here she is again, just still going at it. Amazing woman. That's impressive. I'm putting that in my Netflix queue There right you now. go. <laughs> Love it. It'll be a good movie. Give us more updates like that All one. Right. That's yeah, so cool.